Okay, this is a test run of my Fancy Feast stove. This is for Rando Survivor. He was asking about it. Um, this was a Fancy Feast can. You can see there's a little glue there. I can live with the glue as long as I'm not touching it when it's hot. Inside here is ceramic insulation. Now this was the $3 thin stuff off of, um, where was it? It was eBay this time. And I just cut it into strips that would fit just inside the can. And I did three of them. And I did one around and then continued and did another one around and another one around. I tried doing them all close to the same length and wrapping it around. It didn't work as well. This is a much better burn and product. This tin on the inside is just a tomato paste tin. And it has a hole punched for airflow so you don't get any pressure buildup. In the bottom of this tin, you can probably see a little bit there, um, there's four half hole punches on the bottom where I cut it off and it has to be one inch from the top of the Fancy Feast can to the top of the tomato paste can. I just used a standard paper hole punch. You don't have to use anything fancy. As you can see right in here, like my cuts aren't all fancy and perfect and I made it work. This, some people use heat, some people use denatured alcohol. This is methyl hydrate because it's about $10 for a gallon. It's the most economical solution. And this container here is just a container from Body and Bath Works. It's just a old shampoo container or body wash container or something like that. It's no big deal. I have two cups of room temperature water going in a pot. out of the way. You want to see me light a match with the ferrule rod? Here we go Rando. I told you I'd do it. Just took me a while to get it. These are forever matches and there. It's lit. You don't want to leave this lit too long or it causes um, the wick to eat up so you have to work pretty fast, but it gives a good flame. It's a much better flame than a standard match. That is now lit. And there's no waiting time. You can put it on right away. Now you can see it's a little tippy. This holds just over three cups of water. I'm just going to throw a lid on from a different set because that's what I had on hand. Because in my backpack, I store it with the mini frying pan so the lid actually does go with this but I don't want to take the big cup with it as well so I'll come back when this is all ready to boil and I'll let you know how long it took we're back and that was really fast it was three to four minutes. <laughs> I just used the digital timer. We'll say four minutes to play it safe to boil two cups of water and it'll still go for a while cooking it or boiling it. So will this boil a big huge pot of coffee for a family like Rando? Not this one. No. It's just not going to be big enough. I, it'll boil up to a liter and I've boiled like three cups of water. I've filled this right up and it'll boil it in less than seven minutes with an ounce of fuel easily. But this particular can is not big enough. However, if you took a tuna can and put a slightly smaller can and cut it down and still gave yourself that one inch, it would be bigger. And that works for the hotter temperatures you need for a bigger pot to cook for a family. So it's totally possible to do. Um, it did take me a while to get my ceramic insulation. It said that it was for wood stoves when I got it. It was 
inexpensive and well worth the wait and as you can see it's still burning it burns for about seven to eight minutes on an ounce and I'm gonna put the link below to Hiram Cook's video Hiram Cook makes these stoves and I learned a lot of information about them from him he's done them with everything from paper towels down they don't take a lot of fuel I used a lot in this I probably used I don't know however much I did out of this it was full so it was an ounce or two in there and it'll burn from a while uh, for a while it, the no blooming time is what did it for me and the lightweight so you could even light this with the pot on the stove the difference between this and a penny stove isn't just that it's easier to light it after it's blown out you can just add more fuel and relight um, I like it better than the penny stove because the penny stove then if you have to do that you have to wait again for your blooming time again for everything to heat up and this will burn in cold conditions so I really enjoy this one this this was the way to go I researched a lot of stoves and I debated the penny stove for a couple of years before I actually stumbled across these and they're old news to a lot of people people have been making them for a long time some people even just take that fancy feast tin and they punch holes all the way around the edge and use that as a stove and guess what it works you can do that with a tuna tin as well and if the camera moves it's the kitty who is very cute and I'm just gonna try and keep her away from this because that's not a good spot for a kitty cat so yeah this stove is a winner winner chicken dinner I'm going to be taking that camping it will be my main stove if I can't use fire because that happens where we live sometimes we get fire bans I'm in Alberta in Calgary near the Rocky Mountains so sometimes we just get fire bans I do have backup stoves as well um, I hate the way the Coglin fuel tabs smell so I always keep them in a the ziplock but yeah I've got this guy ready too and I only carry 12 tabs because I'm not going for any long periods and I can use wood in this stove which is a great option I was going to carry my other wood burner as well and I decided that I would just go with this for weight purposes that I had a backup it would do wood and I have the alcohol and this is all a lot of options for not a lot of weight Um, this stove was pretty cheap at my local Army and Navy store. They have them, I think they may have one in Saskatchewan. There's one in Calgary and some in BC as well. And if you're ordering over $100, they do free shipping online uh, for Canada. So if you're in Canada, that's a heck of an option that you can get some free shipping on gear that is reasonably priced they, that's the thing with that store it's reasonably priced this is still putting off heat and it's still boiling so yeah it's a great stove and those are my options this was far more money than that because this guy only cost about 30 cents to build with the insulation that was just the insulation cost if you needed to do it for free and the only thing you could borrow uh, buy was the fuel then I would recommend just punching the hole in the tins all the way around and you can do it that way if necessary the disadvantage of this compared to um, other alcohol stoves is it wicks up the fuel so you have to burn it you can't reclaim it and pour it back into your container so you really don't want to use too much more than what you need to use 
And that's about it for this video. Um, I do have some more I'll be making, but that's all this video requires. Oh, right. AliExpress, these were under a buck each. I know Rando doesn't like them because of the fact that the wick does tend to get used up quickly. I look at it this way, the so wick is a replaceable item to a better one. So I'm not going to worry about that. I just like when I do it right. It does work. And that's a much bigger flame than a match. There we go. And it, they, you put lighter fluid in here. They're very easy to use, very lightweight. The flame is just better than a match. It doesn't blow out quite as easy. So sometimes they're called forever match. Or sometimes a metal match, whatever you want to call them. Um, wait for deals. You can get them for a buck a piece, but it depends. Or check out what Rando's doing because he's checking out some other versions of this. I don't know if they're better or not. And let me know if you know where to find wicks for this because I think that's something I might want to pick up in the near future. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great day.